bet. The snow was not too kind to people without four wheel drive and even some that had it. A lot of people got stuck out there. First responders have been hard at work helping people that were stranded out on the roads. Katie Weiss caught up with Brighton police about their rescue efforts and Katie, he spoke with an officer driving a snow cat yesterday. Uh, yeah, Karen, he tells me he was thrilled to be able to help people who were stranded, but based on what we're still seeing today, it looks like he may have some more work cut out for him this evening. Some very good people have helped me and I appreciate it very much. 87 year old Beverly Siebold was one of many people stranded on the roads in Brighton Monday. Fortunately, she was able to get some help. It was something I'll never forget. Officer Daniel Barkas with the Brighton Police Department was out helping people Sunday, driving the department's new snowcat for the very first time in blizzard conditions to rescue people stuck in feet of snow along I-76. I was just uh, thrilled and so happy that I could help out so many people. At one point, he had 12 people riding in the trailer of the Caterpillar. A little bit of a roller coaster experience for him, but it was like they, it was just really rewarding to get him back to a place and just have that uh, security that that problem right now is behind them. Brighton police have responded to more than 60 calls for help from stranded motorists. I'm just very proud. Patrol Commander Matt Domenico. We encountered a traveling hockey team that was trying to get to a hotel to get shelter for the night and uh, their buses have become stuck and we were able to, to get them to a local hotel. He says some people even helped rescue officers who had trouble in the snow. We had officers get stuck in some of their vehicles throughout and, and had citizens stop to help them get out. And it, it just goes, it just goes to show what a supportive community brain is. A community Beverly is thankful for too. When people are kind hearted and come along and help another person out, that's what really counts. Now, using that snowcat, Brighton police were also able to assist Commerce City Police and South Adams Fire with additional rescues. Live in Brighton, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. All right.